Um, it was exciting, you know. Um, obviously, I didn't get the playing time I wanted last series, and to have my first postseason hit in my career be a home run in that moment was uh, was special for me and special for the, the team. You mentioned not getting the playing time. How were you able to stay ready without seeing live pitching for the most part of the last couple of days? Um, I mean, the last two days we did some live BPs, and that, that definitely helped. I made sure to be one of the the guys that was in there every day just because I I didn't know what my situation was going to be, but I wanted to be ready. And, um, you know, not a lot of guys can emulate what Blake Snell has, so it was it was difficult, but, you know, we – we all went out there and played real well tonight, so that was good for everybody. Next one to Eric Bowen. Clint John Carlo has had some some struggles the last couple of years, mainly staying on the field. How good did you feel for him having that kind of a moment, hitting a, a grand slam there to kind of blow it open? I think that was the first time I've screamed for somebody else. Um, <laughs> not a big emotion guy as far as yelling goes, but I did yell if the camera did pan over and show me right there. So I was I was excited for him. He's he's had a really big moment in uh, the last couple games we've had each game and it's been it's been really key, really key for us because we know what he can do. It's just a matter of doing it from now on. Next one's Mike Hey Coach, uh, the announcers were as impressed by the fact that the ball you hit was kind of in your, almost in your eyes as opposed to how far it went. Uh, can you just talk about that, uh, you know, how you saw it, how you saw it leading to that? Um, with, with Snell, he's a guy that likes to throw up in the zone a lot, and his fastball plays up. So I was going into that event anticipating him to try to go to that pitch up in the zone, and, and I kind of had my, my sights set right there. But uh, it's not often you, you – hit that pitch because it's so it's so difficult it's, it's a tough one to hit and, and it's probably the first one in my career I've ever done like that and, and it, it came at a big time and I was really excited and I'm, I'm still excited right now and, and I, I can't wait to go out and, and see my girlfriend and, and give her a hug. We have time for the last one from Brian Hook. Hey Clint, uh, just to go back to that being the first postseason hit of your career, what was that kind of like for you as you're rounding the bases? What was going through your mind? <sighs> I feel like I blacked out, you know, <laughs> running around the bases. But um, it was exciting. You know, the last few weeks had been frustrating for me at the plate. And I didn't finish the season the way I wanted to and, and obviously didn't play in the last couple games as much as I would have liked. But it meant a lot because tonight's all that mattered. You know, the last few nights didn't matter because we've already gotten past that. And now tonight matters. And, and I produced whenever I, I got the chance. and. Guardy went out there and finished it off for me, and it was, it was big for me, big for everyone, and, and it's just really exciting to be a part of.